Hey everybody, Court and I are back and today we are in my kitchen because we are going to be talking about the family dinner table. Yes people, this needs to exist. It is sometimes impossible to find the time to yeah. sit down as a family. What can we do to make this attainable for our families? The best thing to do is to really look at your schedule the week ahead and say what nights are achievable for us to do dinner. It doesn't have to be at home. It doesn't have to be you cooking over the stove. You can get takeout and sit around your dinner table or you could even go out to a restaurant. But the goal is to pick two or three nights in the week that gives kids great structure and stability. They know you guys are gonna sit down together, gonna to get to talk about the week together, and um, everybody gets that time to bond. Another great idea, too, is to get everybody involved in the family dinner process, right? So no matter how young your children are, they can still help set the table. Yes. I mean, even if it's just putting napkins on the table. And, you know, it doesn't matter if they don't get it right. I mean, the key there is that we're, Number one, teaching them to be considerate and involved and helpful. Um, and then, then they have a chance to know like what it takes in order to set up a family dinner table together. So give them that responsibility in order to help set up the table. And then they'll know from then on too where things go. So earlier when you mentioned doing the three or two nights a week, whatever works for your family, you mentioned conversation. Right. Tell us ways that we can bring conversation alive at the dinner table. You've got a great, a few great suggestions for that. It's okay to bring a game to the table. And when I say that, I mean, you know, maybe bring a board game or a bingo or go fish or a card game. You know, it's funny how conversation starts to happen when you all are kind of having fun at the dinner table That's together. Great, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with doing something like that because you're doing a family activity together while you're having dinner as well. So, right, it's interactive. It's not like this on your phone. It's, right. It's a totally different scenario. Exactly. And so great conversation happens whenever you bring a little fun to the table too. One other great way to encourage conversation at the table is to make it a family style meal. You'll be amazed at how much conversation happens when children have to pass things around to one another Love or to it. you as an adult. So it encourages them, number one, not just to reach over the table for something, uh, but you know, you're passing things, you're talking, and also it's kind of nice to be able to say, you know, could you pass me the salt? And then see if they pass the salt and pepper together. You know, they're little life skills that are going to teach them how to be more proficient as they grow older. Um, but that family style table really helps with that. I know one of the biggest struggles that families do have is getting their children and themselves as parents to put their devices away. You know, this is a real struggle, there's no doubt about it. Unpopular as it may be, and the best thing to do there for your family dinner is to really put all the technology away in another room if you can. And that goes for mom and dad too. You know, the cell phones go away. Dinner's not that long, 20 or 30 minutes long at max, usually with little kids. And so we can take that time to put all the technology away, you know, no iPads at the table. We're teaching our children how to have conversational skills, interpersonal skills, these are skills for a lifetime that will serve them really well. So that 20 minutes at the table with no technology is the best way to really help them learn how to have great dinners together. Court, this information is so helpful. Okay. Thank you so much. For more information and to follow Courtney, follow her at, at CF Etiquette, and you can go to her website at cfetiquette.com. And we'll be back next month for Monthly Manners. Thanks for watching.